Being a black ballerina uh, definitely is everything. Uh, and my life and my path as a ballerina would be completely different if I wasn't an African-American woman. It has provided more obstacles than I think I knew when I discovered ballet at 13 years old. Uh, but at the same time, it's made me uh, want to persevere even more. And I think it's made me a stronger person because of it. Uh, and I have so many more obstacles to overcome, but I absolutely love classical ballet. I first started dancing when I was 13 years old at my local boys and girls club in San Pedro, California. I was discovered there on a basketball court by um, a teacher who was starting a program with the Boys and Girls Club to bring in students who might not be exposed to classical ballet to bring into her school on full scholarship. So I was one of those students that was selected. Um, I immediately was able to do everything she asked for uh, and 13 is a very late age to start dancing. Um, but I fell in love with it immediately, especially the first time I stepped onto a stage, probably three or four months after I started dancing. And from there, the love just continued to grow and the challenges made me want to push even more. Um, and four years later, I was dancing for American Ballet Theater. I have so many dance inspirations. As a child, Paloma Herrera was everything to me. Uh, even to this day, she's someone that I admire uh, for a different reason than I did at, at you know, 14 years old. Um, but Julie Kent, Sylvie Guillem, uh, Gelsey Kirkland, all about oh, Susan Jaffe, having being coached by me, my idols is just the ultimate uh, to just step back and watch them. But uh, it's great to have inspiration in the company dancing with you on the stage. I think part of my purpose as a ballerina is not only to be a dancer, but to be a vessel uh, to share the stories of other black women. And of course, I, you know, Raven Wilkinson was one of the first black ballerinas that I learned of uh, dancing with the Ballet Russe in, in the 1950s and overcoming so much adversity to to be this incredible, powerful woman who's a very dear friend to me. Um, you know, going through experiencing racism on and off the stage, she um, has really paved the way for people like me to exist in the ballet world. The title of the book, Life in Motion, is inspired by my life. I think that from the time I discovered ballet, it's been in constant motion um, on just this very a uh, peculiar journey that I think was unexpected and to have the subtitle be you know the story of an unlikely ballerina that's everything that I am you know something that people didn't uh, expect.